Mom's Worst Day podcast is an avenue for mothers to share their stories, things that did not go quite as planned, and interesting trials that come with motherhood. The podcast aims to encourage and uplift women, ease the burden of their ever-present mom guilt, and to let them know that they are not alone. I'm your host, Nicole Chikwe, and welcome to Mom's Worst Day. You've got this, Mama. Our guest needs no introduction. Well, she does because I don't know if this is a podcast, so you won't be able to see who it is. <laughs> but um, I am sat here Aww. with the fabulous, the beautiful, Hi. the talented Hi. actor, producer, oi, 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 oi. dancer, hey. all around super mama, ah. or sass. <laughs> Everybody, please, hey. let's just welcome her with a hand clap. We appreciate you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so, like, okay, so first of all, I told her I was going to give her, like, a five-minute wash. I'm going to try and keep it to two minutes. <laughs> but, um, Osa is one of these people who, I mean, if you follow her, um, you can see that she radiates light, right? And she's such, like, a beautiful, positive person. And having been around a lot of industry people... I have also come to find that a lot of people who appear to be that way are not really. <laughs> Streets stay rugged. But with a sass, what you're seeing is who she is. She is the most beautiful person inside and out. She supports women. Like you see her talking about, oh, loving women, supporting people. She really, really means it. Like because of a sass, my shoulder is constantly up. <laughs> Because I know that if I call her and she's available, mm. if she's available, she's going to be there. Yeah. So I'm so grateful that you decide to bless our little podcast it's not with your low. presence. This is fabulous, okay? <laughs> ah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we thank God. It's all good. You know, anything for you, Nicole. So let's do this. Mm. <laughs> Wash me, dear. <laughs> anything for me. Thank you so much. Always. Um so let's get straight into it. Yeah. Assass is back, everyone. Yeah. Um, so you had announced that you were back on social media. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you obviously need to take some time off mm -hmm. to just get your mental right, which yeah. I think is very important. Yeah. And now you're back. Yeah. How are you feeling? You know what? I am feeling Today, because mm -hmm. I'm taking it a day at a time. Amen. Today, I feel I feel good. I feel um, grateful, and like I'm literally taking each day by the horns and living it to the fullest. And I haven't had a day of just relaxation since you know going through everything that I've gone through in the past few months. Mm. And I went to the beach with my friends and. I went crazy. I went wild. Like, I was just so grateful to just be near the water, have my foot in the sand, and just enjoy life. And mm -hmm. um, it felt great. It felt really, really great. And it just reminded me that, you know, things happen, but the power is in how you react to it. Mm -hmm. how you How you take those situations and... It's going to be a part of you, but how how you move forward with it, how you mold it into who you are. So for me, it's really just being the best that I can be, taking life for the blessing that it is and living life to the fullest. If it's in work, you give your best. If it's with your kids, you show them and express your love every single day. Hmm. If it's just life, just live it and appreciate every breath that you have. Like, yeah. So that is really, I mean, that was beautiful. That's also really spooky that you said that because mm -hmm. I talk about affirmations on the show. And we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. I will read to you the affirmation of the day. Okay. And I'm going to let you know why you are a spirit. But okay. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. But we'll, we'll get to that. So okay. thank you so much for sharing that. Of course. I'm so glad that you spent your public holiday on the beach, um, it was, running a mock. It was. It was. Did you planned. dance? What? <laughs> <laughs> I danced. I ate. I ate, <laughs> <laughs> and just enjoyed myself. I I swam. Like it was just great. I just 
didn't remember that part of life mm. for so long. For me, it's fa- home, home, family, work. Home, home, family, work, sleep. Home, home, family, work, sleep. Like, that's just the routine. So mm. just remembering that it's important just as a human being to take those times to enjoy life, you know? Um, those enjoyment periods. I mean, you can make sure that everyday life is an enjoyment in some sh- way, shape, or form. Mm-hmm. It's an obstacle, especially in this part of the world for mm-hmm. us. But you make the best out of it. And yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Enjoyment should be in, uh, should be a part of it life should, every day. Yes. In whatever form that it comes in, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I love that. That's really powerful. I'm going to write that down. Yeah, really? Come yeah, on. like I'm going to enjoy myself every day. Just find some form yeah, of enjoyment. It might not be the beach, but I'm going yeah. gonna, to... <laughs> but I, I should be able to enjoy myself every day. Yeah. Stay happy. Yeah. Okay. So this is a mummy podcast. Yeah. And one of my favorite questions to ask um, whenever I have any mums in here is about their... Pregnancy. Mm. Now, pregnancy is already super hard, right? Um, But I can imagine that being pregnant in the public eye would have been a million times (laughs) harder. (laughs) How how did pregnancy go for you? Gaining weight, being pregnant, feeling tired. Wait, first, were you even tired or sick or anything? Um, I didn't have morning sickness. Uh, like my first trimester, I didn't have any of that. I just would feel nauseous whenever I would um, smell different things. Mm. Like that triggered me. Like I don't remember the things that made me feel nauseous, but I didn't throw up. Mm. I think I threw up like once and I was on set. People didn't know I was pregnant and I had to like <laughs> hide. And Oh no. Yeah, so I was, I threw up because I think I had a pizza. I had pizza and it was disgusting Mm. (laughs) and so that didn't sit well with me um but yeah i i I remember doing two films when i was pregnant and one was an action film ratnik i was pregnant then did they know wait they didn't know you did an action movie when you were pregnant i had to beg at the time i had to beg um my daughter's father and my mom to please (laughs) allow me like it took everything i had to beg cry please plead for them to allow me to do this action film. Because it was mm. such a dream of mine to finally be able to do an action film. And mm. before Azariah was even conceived, I was already set to do the film. But, you know, with filming, um, they had to delay some things and get some things right. And then I found out that, ooh, okay, we're going to start. And I'm three, four months pregnant. And I'm like, whoosh, wow. So I wasn't showing. I didn't start showing until maybe I was about... Well, I wasn't showing. I was showing, but I was able to hide it right. while I was on set. I really started to show, and I couldn't hide it when I was maybe about five, six months. So, yeah, I had to beg them, please allow me to do this movie. There was a scene where I had to run up the mountain. I thought I was going to die. It was... I was so exhausted and lightheaded. Oh, and, my days. And I'm just so determined that sometimes I forget that that determination is not equal to the strength of one's body mm-hmm. and what one can take. And mm-hmm. my body could not take it. Like, I just remember saying, oh, I'm so tired. And I had to ask one of the crew guys to, like, I had to get on his back to get up to the top of the mountain. It was a lot. But I'm so strong-willed that... Usually, obviously, that that is so wild to me because yeah. when I was pregnant, an action movie for me <laughs> was taking a shower. <laughs> that was that was wow. It was a full thing for me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to yeah. take a shower. So I'll get in the shower. I'll come out before I even towel dry myself. I have to sit in the bed. Like, oh. Wow. Okay. Let me just take a small really? nap. Let me take a small nap. So I'll be there on my bed, wet, just like Shivering. okay. Let me just take it. Yeah. So for me, that was. An that was really film. exciting. That was that was an action film oh for me. So hearing God. this is, yeah. I think, the wildest thing I've heard in a very long time. Yeah. Well, kudos to you. I really, really wanted to do it, and I didn't want mm. like, and I think that's that's just a testament to the woman, you know, just because. I wouldn't say because you're pregnant or whatever your situation is. If you're really determined and you can try and make it work, then make it work. Absolutely. Health wise, wasn't the best thing for me to do. Um, but I thank God. I would always pray to God whenever I would start a scene and I would thank my baby and mm-hmm. my tummy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, baby, 
thank you for allowing me to do this. Please, let's be strong <laughs> together. Let's get through today. And you so, did. And yeah. every, every, everything worked out for the best. Yeah, so yeah. I'm so happy to hear that. That's it. So, I mean, <laughs> women are so powerful. You can act a whole action movie yeah. being pregnant. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Okay, so you do the film. Mm-hmm. And you have. You said you acted in other projects as well. It was, during the it pregnancy. was too. Like, I've, as I'm remembering, I remember doing, um, yeah, one film I wasn't showing yet. Mm. The this- the second film was the action film, and I started to show small, but I was able to hide it. Right, right, right. Yeah. And so then, just two, and then I left to the States. Okay. To New York, where I was born and raised, and a- my mommy's house. <laughs> so I was there until baby girl was born. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't bad, because I, once I got back to the States, I really just sat and ate. And my mom, when she saw me, I think I was about four. Five months, five months when she saw me, she was not happy. She's like, you're not feeding my child. See how skinny you are. Your tummy is cu-. like a little nice pooch, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, you're not feeding my child. And the one thing uh, about my mom was she would cook and she would cook well. And she knew that her child loved her cooking. Mm. And once I got to my mom's house. She overfed me. So I, know, that's part of this, I gained so much weight. I didn't. <laughs> I'm still to today trying to lose that baby fat. Lies. I promise you. Lies. <laughs> For everyone who's li- lies, just I, lies. You I don't, promise. but you don't need to believe me. Listen, don't, don't believe me, yo. <laughs> don't believe her. All I want to do is reference at Osas Igoda. No, offic- at official Osas. That's her IGP. Just go and look there. Let it not be that it's me that said. Let it also not be that it's her that said. Go and look at her page. Then you decide who is lying on this not, interview. But I'm I want to assure you that it's not me. Not, Osas, that's a lie. It's not. I, pro- I could not. <clears throat> like, you see, okay, so my top part gained weight, but not as much as my bottom part. Like, my bottom part, there was one day I was walking past... Um, I was walking outside and I saw a reflection of myself. I literally, it was like a movie. I literally backtracked and I'm like, <laughs> who the heck is that? When This is when you were pregnant. When I was pregnant. Oh, okay, my okay, bottom okay. half was a whole different area code. I could not recognize myself. I said, what? I gained so much weight in my bum, in my, on my, in my thighs, my legs. It was a total different person. And I didn't take any pictures that's how traumatized. I oh was. no, that's that's me as well. Mm. I don't take from six <sighs> months. There's no need hey. for me to remember, for you to remember, <laughs> for anyone to, anyone remember. to remember. Just know that I was shy <laughs> up to six months. Then you see a baby, <laughs> and then let's just leave it that's like that. It. I beg, please. There's no need for that. Mm-mm, I was. I, it was. It's just embedded in my memory, and that's where it will stay. I did not recognize myself at. all. Oh, hmm. at all and till today I'm still trying to lose that baby fat again it's that's a lie it's um, the truth because you're looking better <laughs> like I feel like you even look better now than when I met you what 10 <laughs> 10 11 years ago yeah. it's wild that like you look incredible but we're gonna we're gonna get to that but I just want to assure you this part this one she's saying about still struggling to today hey, that one is a I promise, lie I promise but that must have been really hard if you gained all that weight and then you're constantly thinking about um like snapping back Mm. and then being in front of the camera how how difficult was that on your like self-esteem oh it was a lot on my self-esteem just you know growing up doing pageants modeling oh yes that's true it was a lot and so in my mind like no one could tell me that i wasn't gonna snap back Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no i'm gonna snap back and then i'll get back to work and acting and and you know God has His plan, <laughs> and it just and I, and I'm like, why is the weight not going? Like, what's taking so long? Because I would work out, but then I would eat, <laughs> and it would look like nothing is happening. <laughs> so then, at a point, I just said, you know what? Forget it. Let me just live life. I think at the time where I said, just never mind. It was a point where. I was eating and breastfeeding because I breastfed for about a year and three months. And I was like, wait, ah, the- <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Not exclusive. So we're not going to just, I love how you just casually said it. You're, you're actually going to move on to the next point. Wait, 
Run that back one more time. DJ, 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 DJ. You said you breastfed for a year and three months. Yeah. That's about 15 months. <laughs> no, let me understand. Let me, because it's like, me, I'm not understanding. That's about yeah. 15 months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a champ. It was, I mean, you know, if I'm on set, I mean, Baby Girl came on set with me. So. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. So whenever, oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. I said, if, if you want me to work on your set, know that there's a tribe that comes with me. It's mm. my daughter and my nanny. If you are good with it, then no we're good problem. to go. I will come and walk on your set. So that's how it was until one of the sets I was on, they did a playback. Hi. I saw myself and I said, hey, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Child, that day we stopped breastfeeding. I said, I need to get back. Like, baby girl, it's been a year and three months. Mm. And we're good. Mm. <laughs> You, you are good. Yeah, you, you paid your dues. Yes, you tried. You tried. I could not recognize myself again. I said, wow. The mirror and filming and playbacks, they're all different. You think you look one way and you look <laughs> something else. I said, oh, no, no, no. I need to, I, this needs to stop. So, yeah, that day is when we stopped breastfeeding. I'll never forget it. I said... Isn't that so painful? Like, do you ever get dressed, right? Mm -hmm. And do your makeup and you're like, Wow. <sighs> I'm looking tasty. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking so good. Sometimes. And then you take a picture. People take pictures. And <laughs> ha, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what is what happening? Happened? Girl. So I can imagine like play by, and you know, that's even camera. camera. Like I can imagine like video in 4K HD. Thank you. Ah, no. I was like, no, that's wait, not it. Who is that? <laughs> I no. said, no, 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 child, I love you, but mommy needs to walk out and stop eating like this. Because, you know, breastfeeding, they take all your nutrients, take everything, and you have to keep eating yeah. in order to balance it out. Mm -hmm. Hi. No, no, no. There was overbalancing. So I, I couldn't <laughs> no, I could not continue. In that direction. No, no, no. Uh, things said, needed to change. Yes, that day. But that's yeah. so amazing that you used to bring her on set. Oh, yeah. So that must have been... Do you did you find that it helped you maybe work a bit better because you are not worried because Absolutely. at least she's kind of she's nearby, nearby or was that like a distraction for no, you? No, no, no. The okay. thing is, it would have been a distraction if she was a loud baby. But Azariah was such. She, I, I don't know where that child went though, because now she's very talk, 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 sassy, talk, sassy, talk, sassy, talk, sassy, energetic. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But you know, when she was very, very, very small, she was very I saw that she was very observant mm. and she didn't cry just I mean maybe little cries here and there because she's hungry mm. um but on set she was an angel I mean Aww. she's still my little angel but amazing she, she was great she never they didn't hear her cry she could be in the same room she would just be there just watching and observing she was she's she's great I mean, I don't bring her on set anymore, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's understandable because now she's a bit more energetic. So, hello. Yeah, no need for that. <laughs> she would be inside the movie or series or whatever I'm working on. She would be inside because she must enter. Whenever I bring out my phone, she's like, okay, cheese. <laughs> that's her thing with the peace sign. Cheese. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you think that she might be interested in becoming like an actress? <clears throat> and, if, and if she was... Mm -hmm. Is that something that you would support? Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, she has me as um, help of guidance, mm. you know. Um, but yeah, whatever baby girl wants to do. Right now, she, I hear her say, Mommy, I want to be a police officer. I want to do... like So she always says different things. So I mean... Whatever her her mind and her heart's content, I'm I'm there to support her. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, please. And yeah, I I would love to see like a a baby <laughs> or sa. Well, she wouldn't be a baby or sa. She'll be Azariah. She would be Azariah. Exactly, Azariah and she'll be spicy. That's hey. it. I love to see it. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> and um, so like you said, you had left early, like five months is kind mm -hmm. of early, mm -hmm. um, to go to America to kind of get ready to have the baby. Yeah, was it? difficult um in that period you've gone to america then you're back you're still 
trying to figure out like the next steps. You'd kind of stepped away and you're watching other people and you're watching other movies and maybe roles that could have gone to you. That they called though. They said, oh, Sassy, we want you for this project. I'm like, I'm unavailable. And oh, then I, I see know. the film and I'm like, Hey. Uh, films, sorry. Films, plural. Oh, wow. And I'm like, hey, that's a, that was a good one. But then <laughs> I realized that, you know what? God's time, if it was for you, then it would have been yours. So it wasn't for you. But yeah, at the time when I was at, just at home, because I'm a busybody. I like to work. People say you work a lot. You, you're always working. But it doesn't feel like it. Hmm. It feels like something that I've always dreamt of doing and... It, it feels like play for me, you know? Right. It's exhausting sometimes, but it's it's what I love to do. So whenever people say, oh, I wake up doing what I love doing, like for me, that's it. I love doing what I, what I do. And I was like really sad for some time. Not because I had a baby, not because um, of this beautiful blessing in my life, but because I also wasn't able to, you know, fully do what I also loved doing so mm -hmm. i had to had to you know get in the mindset of there's always a time and a place for different things and for different blessings and it will come just live life step at a time so that's what helped get me through but oh yeah i was not feeling great about seeing all these different projects that they reached out for me to be a part of and i was just saying yeah i'm not available i mean they didn't know that i was you know with child so mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, what's meant for you is meant for you, yeah. man. And you've gone and had the baby yeah. and you're growing like stronger and stronger every day. Your career is thriving and flourishing. Like it's been we thank so God. incredible <laughs> to see. I am so proud. I am so proud. <laughs> yeah, you know. You guys know I actually know Osas. Like not just from you guys. Oh, Osas. Oh, us, that's my sis. That's my good yes, sis. Boo. So I'm yes. so proud. I'm so proud. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask regarding parenting in the public eye yeah and how you are finding that because you seem really joyful and free right mm -hmm. but I can imagine that being a mom and living living your life so publicly yeah um would garner a lot of like opinions from people oh yeah how has that been and how are you coping with that um Okay, so thankfully enough, I don't see a lot of people's opinions because I don't put her out there like that. Mm. So that is a decision that me and her dad decided to take. You know, we don't put her out there too much. Um, she's also still a kid mm -hmm, and everything. True. So um, the parenting happens, you know, 24-7. Um, so I don't really get ridiculed about my parenting or anything like that. That's good. So so it's it's great like that. I'm I'm able to still be in be in the entertainment industry and be a mom because I keep it separate. But I showcase her because I'm I'm her mom mm -hmm. and I'm so proud to be her mom. Mm -hmm. Um from time to time. Like her birthday is in a weekend. Can't Ooh, wait I'm for the pay. Yes. <laughs> Are you guys going to do a photo shoot? We did it already. Oh yes, honey. Oh, it's a it's a it's a yearly event, and I'm always excited about it. This time, I mean, we did one Mommy and Me shot last year, but this year it was like four shots, four or five shots. And okay. I'm like, well, I feel like it's my birthday, too. <laughs> but it is. Yes, you know, it's right. It actually is. So parents, whenever their kid, whenever they have um, birthdays with their kids or whenever their kids have their birthdays, I always, you know, wish them happy birthday as well. Because yeah. I feel it's their birthday as well. It is. Because yeah. it's also the day that Osas, the mom, was born. It's true. So it it's it's your it's your birthday. I count my 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 son's birthday in particular because he's my first. Yes. I'm like, this is the day Nicole, the mom, was born. So happy birthday to me. So I, I take it very seriously. Nicole, I'm gonna so take that. Right? I love that. Yeah, yeah. So it's your birthday. Congratulations. Thank sis. you. I love it. I love that. I can't believe she's five she's already. Five. Yeah. How would you say your do you think your parenting has changed much since she was um a baby? Like what kind of mom? Did you envision you would be? And how have you found that you've changed and evolved? Oh, no, no, no. See, the kind of mom that I knew that I was going to be was going to be totally opposite from my mother. Hmm. May she rest in peace. My mom is who I am today. 
<laughs> I, I am so my mom. Like certain things that Azariah would do, I would just sit back and reflect. Like I just handled that situation like my own mother. And I always said when I was younger that, oh, I'm gonna, my child is just gonna be so awesome because I'm gonna be awesome to my child and they won't have to worry about me disciplining them the way you discipline me. Mm. And I, ah, mm-hmm. I discipline my child the same way my mom does. And it's, and it's and it's so organic. It's not anything that I have to work on because my mom is a part of me. I'm a part of my mom. And mm. so I'm just, you know, legacy to legacy. Just It's wild to me. Mm. Really wild. Because I sit back and I'm like, I always said I would never be like my mom. And exactly. Here I am. And she, mom just jumped out. <laughs> it, it. It's wild. It's so wild. It's so wild. I remember saying that to myself just a few days ago, actually. So that's why I'm laughing at this question. Because I'm like, I'm my mother. I am my mother. Aren't we oh. all? <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's really... <laughs> I don't know, you know, like when I first had, a t- I didn't, I don't know what kind of mom I thought I would be, mm-hmm. um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way things are going. I just know yeah. that I'm, I'm doing my best. I found That's that it. just letting go of any preconceived notions, um, letting go of any ridiculous societal standards of yeah. what a mother should be yes. has really just set me free, and now I'm just living. I'm living my life. I'm. Um, I'm living joyfully Mm -hmm. because I refuse to accept that version of motherhood, which involves suffering every day. And in fact, the more you suffer, the better Uh, of a mother you are. That's what, and I'm like, I actually, mm, I reject that. I reject that too. I reject it. I refuse. I refuse. Uh. And it took me a while, which is why like now it's so funny, like this whole like premium pie, you know how I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm a premium pie. I'm a premium pie. Mm -hmm. It was something that I actually intentionally crafted because I had to say to myself, look, Nicole, I want to live joyfully. Yeah. I'm not going to suffer through motherhood Mm -hmm. and make myself a martyr so that people will look at me and think, oh, you know, wow. Yeah. What a great mother she is. She's suffering. I'm like, no, actually... I'm going to be bad. That's it. I'm going to look cute. Thank you. I'm going to be a premium pie. Hello. I was walking around like, yeah, you know, I'm the most premium pie in Lagos. Premium pie. I'm telling you. But the thing is, the more you say these things to yourself, right, um, then you become that. And then now everyone, like even when I don't call myself a premium pie, Mm -hmm. like like if I post something, I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm just walking down the street. People are like, yeah, premium pie. Ah, I love it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, so for me, I think what I thought was the harder it is and the um, the more you suffer, then mm. you it means you're doing a better job. No. And like there's a certificate at the end, like oh, everyone's going to say, oh yeah, you know, wow, Mm-mm. what a suffering mother. So I think that's what changed for me, rejecting that, yeah. living joyfully. You know what? I, and, 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 and you have to be that example to... Of course, your children, but spe- definitely and specifically to your daughters. Mm-hmm. Because you want them to grow up to know and understand that you can be the best that you can be. You could have worked hard, but you can do it joyfully. You can do it looking good. You can do it with pride. Yeah. And so now that you that you say that, I, I you know how you say um, or how you just asked me, do I get ridiculed about um parenthood in the spotlight and and I think not having to showcase her all the time people forget that sometimes oh yeah she's a mom too because I don't want that ridicule because Mm. I am going to do my red carpets I am going to go on the beach and enjoy myself Mm -hmm. and and you know somehow I'm like I don't want people to think that I'm not parenting and mothering I still am I'm just also enjoying my life too Mm -hmm. so now that you say that I'm like I totally concur I I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me so why can't I do it well and enjoying myself and and being that example of you can be a mother but you can be a slay queen as well too amen like I see comments sometimes and they're like ah are you not a mother not to me I mean I'm grateful that I don't get those kind of things but you know if I do want to post a spicy picture or what which I plan to because I just came from the beach oh I'll just put that as a disclaimer. Please, yeah. everyone, turn turn on turn on post notification. 
for sure. I'm telling I cannot miss this pick when it drops. But talk to me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm just like, uh, uh, I can be a hot mommy. Do I have to now be in, n- not knocking anybody that does, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because, you know, to each its own. Amen. But I, I appreciate my time and, and, you know, enjoying the hard working body that I work on, you know, like... I, I can be a hot mommy and still be that strict, disciplined, responsible parent mm-hmm, as well. Mm-hmm. You can do it all. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks for that. I think she yeah. said it all. So we're just going to. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But I think the most important thing I've taken out of this conversation is a mm-hmm. uh, bikini pick is coming. <laughs> And we should all, we should all get ready. Stay ready. So turn on your post notifications at official or sass. <laughs> okay. So um, along the lines of what we're talking about, mm-hmm. right? Um, about rejecting suffering. Yeah. And embracing enjoyment. Mm-hmm. I know that you've spoken, even in like previous conversations that we've had, yeah. about the importance of self-care. Yeah. Um, even just now talking about going to the beach, that's mm-hmm. a form of self-care. Absolutely. How important is that to you, self-care? And what does that look like for you? Oh, it's very, very important. I need to be able to be whole when I'm taking care of my child. And if I can't be at 100, how exactly am I now going to give 100 to my child? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, self-care looks like... And I call it Osasa's day. So I have, um, especially when Azariah is in school, I take the time to go to the spa. I take the time to go to the movie theaters. Like, I absolutely love the movies. Like, I know really? I can. I love it so much. I know I can Netflix and, and, but I like that whole culture of driving to the theater, buying, buying a your ticket, snacks. my snacks. Mm-hmm. My drink, sitting in the theater, dark theater, and watching and experiencing a movie on this big screen. Like, that's how it was for me when I was younger. That's the reason why it helped mold me into my passion for acting. Mm. Because I just loved the experience and I wanted to be a part of the experience. So that whole um, going to the theater is part of Osasa's day. Mm. Um, Even just laying in bed. Just just laying in bed. So yes. when you're talking about naps and sleep, I get so exhausted sometimes that everyone knows, like even on set, they know, oh, it's time, Mo. Is, she's, <laughs> she's going. She's nodding off. She's, she's nodding she's, off and she's going. <laughs> My body, like, I feel like I get the itis and I'm just like gone. Like I'm exhausted. But like, I like taking cat naps. It gives me that rejuvenation. Yeah, and I'm just right like a nice it. power nap. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, just taking that time to have Osasa's day really helps me be 100 for all these other aspects in my life, especially parenting. Mm. So it's very important for self-care. Mm. Very, very important. Yeah, I completely agree. Mm-hmm. I think um, the, the issue I had mm-hmm. uh, only up until recently was I always thought about self-care as like this, um, as a luxury Right. Mm. As something that I could do when I had time or, you know, it's something you need money for. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to just be spending money. I mean, I can't go to spa every day Mm -hmm. or, you know, things like that. I can't get a massage every day. Mm -hmm. But what I found in the last couple of years is that self-care can it could be so small. That's it. It can be so small. I've only recently discovered and it was during lockdown. Mm -hmm. How important quiet is to me. Mm. I need quiet. I need to have some quiet during the day. And during lockdown, of course, I'm home. My husband's there. I have three kids. Mm -hmm. I have nanny. So my house is full and it's full all the the time. time. And I started to feel like I'm actually going to go. And I didn't know what it was because I was getting some sleep, you know, and... I mean, I was at home, so it wasn't like I was, you know, fighting traffic and all the things that make you stressed in Lagos. Yeah. Um, I mean, online school was stressful, but I'm like, there's something, what is it? And I was like, wow, it's quiet. Mm. And so carving out time during the day, like if even if it has to be like super late at night mm-hmm. when everyone is asleep or super early in the morning, mm-hmm. it helped my mental so much. Wow. Um, 
to the point where I felt like I could then function again. Absolutely. And so for for me, like the points of this whole thing is that self care can be anything yeah. it could be anything you don't need money for mm-hmm, self-care mm-hmm. like you know we see all this like um the narrative is you know you know spoil yourself you deserve it yeah and you do but even if you cannot afford that mm-hmm. you can find one thing yeah. that you can do because it's so important for your mental absolutely like it's it's so crazy what it sounds like that you were did you have you thought about like meditation? Is that part of your yes, quiet time? Yes, now it is. Yeah. So before I would, I mean, I would pray, um, yeah. but that's, it was, I mean, prayer is a conversation, right? Absolutely. So for me, it was never quiet. It was never quiet. Mm-hmm. So now um, I've become big on, in my prayer time, mm-hmm. not just petitioning God and talking to God, but also just trying to listen. Mm. And that is and that is meditation. So like, okay, you know what? I've done all the prayer. Okay, and I just want to sit here and try and just listen. Yeah. Listen to what God might be trying to tell me or what I might be trying to tell myself. I don't know. But mm-hmm. it's also important to... It's not just about talking. It's also about trying to listen yeah. or, or not. Maybe just be quiet. Just be quiet, yeah. Just be quiet. And it's helped me so much. Yeah. So it's something that I would greatly encourage. Do you, do you, do you meditate um, as well? I... I... I wake up early in the morning. I don't know how I do it. Sometimes I can go to bed like 11, 12, and my body will still wake up by 4 or 5 in the morning. Really? And I feel like I've I've slept for like hours. Really? It's so crazy. Like I feel like I've slept for hours. You know how they say you need eight hours of sleep. But the few hours that I have, I feel so rejuvenated and... I don't know. That's just how my... I guess that's how I function. Yeah. That's a Um, blessing. Yeah. But really early in the morning, sometimes I'm up and that quiet. So when you're talking about that quiet, I'm like, okay, is it meditation or you're just sitting there? You're just taking it all in? Mm -hmm. I do. And it's very, very early in the morning. Okay. Amazing. It it feels great. It feels great. Okay. I love Mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Do you... um, do you work out as well? Because I find working out to be a form of self care for myself. We and the way the know, Nicole. <laughs> we know. Yeah, whatever. Y'all look at her Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I I, I do work out. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm she proud looks to work out. Fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I mean, you look amazing as well. Is that something? I mean, do you work? Time. Do you work out? Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, I do work out. Um, but I was realizing the kind of workouts that I was doing before was bulking me up and I didn't want that. I mm-hmm. wanted to be slender, you know? So I'm just realizing that and before I used to run on the bridge. Mm. And I realized that that's not going to work mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah, <laughs> not 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 anymore, no. Not anymore. It was mm-hmm. funny because even when I went I I went to Benin and um a gentleman came up to me and he's like, oh, uh, you don't run on the bridge anymore. And I'm like, whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, is it because you saw my my Insta stories or were you on the bridge or what? So that kind of scared me a bit. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll just run on my street. <laughs> and I and think just keep I'll it, be, keep it classy. Keep it classy on my like road, the, on yeah. my street, yeah. on my clothes. Yeah, no need. Get it street <laughs> <laughs> where I can still exercise, be fit, and be safe. You know. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'm just realizing that I also, that's also self care and osas time. Mm-hmm. Just running Agreed. with my music and running on my street. And, uh, yeah. So that's been my workout for the past. Two weeks now? Because I actually stopped running for a bit um, because of, you know, being scared of the bridge and all that has been happening. Mm. But I'm like, why am I going all the way to the bridge when I have this nice uh, piece of land here where I can run back and forth? So I've been doing that for the past two weeks. Yeah. And it's been great. Awesome. great. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I can't remember the last time I actually ran i did a lot of running when i was getting ready for the marathon mm. in 2020 oh wow and i don't think i've done any running since how was then. that girl Ooh. should we talk about my marathon story 
um, because I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but I decided to start training for the marathon. So marathon is in February. Yeah. And then I just, I don't know why. Is it a lucky marathon? The Access Bank Marathon. Yeah, yeah, like the yeah. full, the Lagos Marathon. Not the lucky, it's the Lagos Marathon. So, it shows you that. <laughs> <added. laughs> so I was like, um, yeah, I'm going to, wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. To run a marathon. So I decided in November that I was going to run the marathon in February. If you know anything about how marathons work, you I know do. how stupid no, that sounds. No, no. But for me, I was yeah. like, is it all just run? Mm-hmm. I run. I do like a 2K, 3K. What's the difference between 3 and 42? <laughs> it's not that much. Girl. The training almost killed me. The training itself. Yeah, just the training itself. Wow. Because it's in the training. The marathon itself lasts, what? I, I ran it in six hours. It's not that, that's not an impressive time. But I ran it in six hours, okay? Goes to show again, if you if I'd actually prepared properly, maybe I'd have done better. But I ran it in six hours and I'm very proud of my time. But it's only six hours. Hmm. It's the training. Because I had, to, I had to run to try and catch up. Yeah. I had to run um, maybe, I was running 12 hours a week. Hey. So I was running on average two, three hours a day. Wow. Well, every other day because I had to rest in between. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was mad. It was really, really mad. So I think when I was done with it, I was like, okay, you know what? I've done this and yes. now I'm never running again yes. in my life. No, I... <laughs> in my life, I will never run Nicole, again. do you know what's so funny? You say that you started training in November. I ran a marathon in 2011. Can I tell you that my body is still recovering? I I can see that. I can I can see how that could be a possibility. I'm just you ran like a full marathon, the full Marine Corp marathon in the uh, where did we run? We ran in Maryland, Washington D.C., and Virginia. Oh, yeah. So you're oh, saying so you're a professional? No, no. That's I'm what a survivor. No, that's okay. <laughs> like, ah, I'm like, what, I, what's that sounding like to me? My body is still rec- My knees. Yeah, my knees are gone. Oh. So no, that I will never. I I don't see a future with me ah. ever running again. I sit here and I'm and I'm laughing at your story because I'm like, I am you. You are me. <laughs> and I did not take how many months? Four months to. I took a few weeks. Nicole, oh wow a few weeks because there, I went into the um, malaria no more offices I think I was just finishing my title as being Miss Black USA okay and they're like okay we would love for you to represent us um, for this marathon and yeah I ran in high school no problem yeah. cool I'm I an athlete it. actually yes yeah. <laughs> I can do it and if I'm representing for malaria no more then no problem eh Stupid. Till today, stupid. I am still recovering from that it's marathon. Mad. So I'm proud of you for even you know overcoming your fear. <laughs> And, and you're running, fear. and you're, and you're running on your. That's very brave of you, <laughs> because I'm an, I'm never running again. Me either. Me either. <laughs> I can I can jog from the the street that I live on, but besides that, that marathon Mm-mm. tore me apart. Like. Oh, I even want to oh, I, d- I didn't. I didn't know you ran. So okay, good. Yes, I ran because I ran. I only ran one marathon, but I've put it in like my bio ah. for my Instagram <laughs> like, that I'm a marathoner. So if you look, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'm a mom. I'm a marathoner because I ran. I ran the one marathon. So I'm proud. You, you should put it. I'm going to put it put in your what? bio too, so people will take us seriously. I hey. know that we're athletes because <laughs> l- listen, my marathon. Hey, people are not serious. I went like my medal is still in my house and everything. Yeah, very, me. very serious matter. Please, girl, imagine me not putting it in my IG bio. You put it in your bio, hundred oh, percent is there. That is hilarious. <laughs> it's a mess, but it's okay. Oh wow! So, girl, yeah. um, the name of the podcast is Mom's Worst Day. Oi. Mm, let me Please, drink. Mm, just have, just have some water. Drink water, water. And then, <laughs> yes, please. It's a, it's a PG show. It's water we're drinking for mm. now. But um, Hello. tell me about mm-hmm. your worst. What, what yes. has been like your worst day? Yes, being a mom. Yes. Okay, so I was on set, working, and um, we're about to finish this scene, and I and I saw that my I kept getting a, a call from. One, my daughter's school, 
and my nanny. Oh, I know my spirits will leave my body. My, I like I'm ready. Like my spirit will leave my and body. I'm, I'm dead, scene. and I'm in the scene, and I'm like, hey, hey, okay. Well, so I finished this scene. As soon as they, they said cut, I picked my phone, and I yelled at my nanny. I'm like, what is it? Because I hate when my nanny calls. Don't call me. Leave me a message or just send me a text. Because if you call me, my mind is automatically going to go to something is not right. Yeah. Something is wrong. What is happening? So I saw the missed calls and I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. So I call her and she's like, yeah, as Araya fell in school, she broke her arm. I said, eh? Oh, no. I said, huh? Eh? Oh, God. So I had to excuse myself couldn't finish the project i mean couldn't finish my scene for the day and that's the worst thing for producers on set or anybody set that you're not able to finish but it's my child so i'm going yeah so i left and my daughter was running in i mean she's not in that particular school anymore um like an extra and an after school um let me say okay and um they had tiles on the ground. And you know in school with kids you usually should have at least carpet. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But she was running with socks on, number one, and she was going to go and I told you my daughter's a very friendly child. So she went to go and hug one of her teachers and she fell on the tile with her socks on mm. and broke her or dislocated her arm or yeah. Her arm was broken, wasn't it? We had to put it in a cast. So it was broken? It was broken. Oh, no. And I'm like... And how old was uh, she? Three, four? She was three. Three. three oh, three, four, no. Yeah, three, probably going on four. Like, I, it was the worst day. I couldn't stop crying. I was like, I had to call my mom, had to call her dad. I was just like, out of it, out of it. And she was just, she just looked so she was still cheerful, weird enough. Oh, she bless was still her. was cheerful. I mean, she had tears in her eyes, but she was still cheerful and tired. Cheerful and tired. Like, I'm tired, mom. My arm. Oh and, no, but mommy, I'm happy to see you, mommy. Oh uh, my god. And I'm like my little nugget, my little, my sweet. I call her my sweetest girl. Like. Ooh, that was the worst day. And I pray to God, please let that be the, the, the worst day. I don't Amen. want to deal with any more worst Amen. days. Amen. So Amen. What was the recovery ah. like for her? How long did she have um, to be in a cast? It was, I think, about a month and a half or two months or so. It was a okay. while she okay. had the cast. So, I mean, I had to grow back into... And the doctors would say to me that, you know what, this is actually... If it was going to happen, this would have. This is the best time because the child's still growing right. and developing. So, oof, that was that was the worst day. That must have been super me. tough. It was, it was... I can't even imagine. And it's like... And you're on set when it happens and ah. you're racing, trying to get to the... And hospital like, and then the Lagos school. traffic oh and, no and, no oh, no 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 it was the worst okay it I was, would yeah ah. no that's tough but she's fine oh, and she's, she's great. great she's great no more no more fractures in no, Jesus no, no. name amen. Amen. amen and I'm like I, whenever she's running I'm like eh exactly so I was going what did you learn what did you learn mm-hmm. from this okay. no socks no socks on tiles exactly that was a good tip I don't know yeah. why I've never really no socks on tiles, no socks. moms. Please. Yeah. That's really dangerous. Or if you're going to do socks, do the socks with the grips under. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But that's I a good was tip. just like, why would you have the... Ch- like, why are they in their socks anyway? Like, and tiles if it's not carpeted. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I learned careful. that day. Yeah, oh, we have no. to be very careful. But I'm they so were sorry afraid to that. call me. Ooh, I'm a firecracker as uh, as a mom. Really, I, you want you come there and set the school on fire, yeah. shut the whole place yeah. down. So they were calling <laughs> the teachers. I think there was three of her teachers that stayed with her the whole time, um, up until I was able to, because they had to now um, get permission from me, because I was all the way on the mainland. She was. She, I mean, we live on the island. Um, they had to get permission from me, and they had to call the nanny to go and stay with her mm. or to meet her with the teachers. So all three teachers stayed. Even when I met up with them, the teachers still stayed with me throughout the whole time. Of, okay. You know. So they were very scared. 
<laughs> and nervous and like, um, we're so sorry. Oh, no. Like, yeah. Well, that's good that they staged that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, I guess. That's the least they could do. Even till today, they call and they're like, how's Azariah? Is she good? You know? They felt really bad, but yeah. But thank God. Yeah. Thank God. It could be much, much, much worse. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, great. Well, thanks for sharing that. Yeah. That must have been really traumatic. It was so traumatic. Oh, no. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. And thanks for the lesson. That was a good tip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're almost at the end. Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. It's gone by so quickly. Yeah. And usually at the end, I share an affirmation because I am a big believer in affirmations. And this is why I said you're a spirit, okay? <laughs> Let me read to you my affirmation wow, for wow, today. Wow. So the affirmation goes, Today, I will love fiercely and laugh freely. I can never get today back. Amen to that. Isn't that so wild? And that's yes. exactly what you were saying. Yes. Today I will love fiercely mm-hmm. and laugh freely. I can never get today back. Mm-hmm. What does that say to you? You here live now? life to the fullest each and every day. Give your best. Give your all. You don't know tomorrow. You don't know the next minute. You don't know. So why not live it to the fullest and know that you gave it your all? If Ooh. there's any guarantee, you know that you gave it your all. There's no regrets. Live life to the fullest. Yes. Okay, Osas is speaking. Yes, honey. Osas is speaking. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Wow. Knowing that you gave it your all. Yes. Yeah. That would be powerful. I need to go and sit on that and think on that. Yeah. That's beautiful. We'll do it during our quiet time. Eggs, you see? <laughs> during our quiet time, yes. which I will carve out tonight. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Every moment. Live it to the fullest, Mm -hmm. knowing that you have given everything your all. And that's in whatever aspect, like your mothering, your work, your relationships with Mm -hmm. your friends, your family, whatever. I love that. That's beautiful. Okay. Yes, seize the day, people. Yes, carpe diem. Carpe diem. (laughs) It's been a pleasure as always. You are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite people in the world. Thank Ah, you so much for blessing blessing me and blessing us with your presence. I've learned so much. I know once we Ah. wrap this up, Everyone in the studio is going to be like, oh my God, that was so awesome. That was so great. Um, but yeah, it was, it was incredible. Thank you so much for this conversation. Thank You're you. Awesome. Thank and you for this. This is so needed. Thank you. We appreciate you and everyone for their hard work. Thank you. I really you know, appreciate you saying it's, that. It's, it's really um, something that we're able to reflect and think about and laugh and enjoy. Like, you know, just... I love it. Thank it's, you. It's spice spices of life. Yeah, wash <laughs> me, sis. Wash me. Yeah, thank you so, so much. Thank no, you. Thank you. Thank so, you. So, um, I know you. Well, I'm gonna ask you to come back at some point, Shah. Of because course. There's always so much. You know, I need for you, baby. Thank you. Anything. I appreciate you. But um, in the meantime, mm-hmm. do you have any projects you're working on? Anything ah. exciting? I saw. A certain movie is coming to a certain something, yes. you know, where we'll be able to watch it soon yes, on a yes, certain yes. platform. Absolutely. I was screaming when yes. I saw that. Yes. Talk to us. I am so excited um, uh, for a film that I was really excited to be a part of. And I'm still excited um in time, I'll always be a part of this project. So, uh, Rattlesnake is yes. coming to, to Netflix. So excitement for that. Um, I know a lot of people, like, I actually didn't get to see the movie. Mm, in the in the cinema, yeah. Because of COVID and all of the stuff that was going on, yeah. 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 So I didn't get to get a chance to, to see it. So I'm excited to actually see it, too, um, when, it comes, when it comes on Netflix. I um, also have a project that I'm working on in Ghana. Um, I, I don't know how I would feel. Because then it would take me out of Nigeria for some time. But there may be a project that I'll be working on in the States. I'm excited about it. I'm not excited about... Because even with Nigeria and it's up and down. I love Nigeria. I love it. I love my life here. Um, But it will take me away for some time if I accept that other project. Which is a great project. But let's just... I I just lead by by God. And if he wants me to do it, I'll do it. But yeah, I have that project. Um... Yeah, uh, Ghost in the Tout 2 is coming out with Toyin Abraham and Mercy Johnson. That one's coming out in September. So, yeah, I've been playing. I'm not going to say I've been working hard because <laughs> I've been playing hard. And uh, all of 
um, the work is going to be coming out soon. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All these things, one person. Uh, it's not It's not work. Like, I, <laughs> I get ginger just... That's what I was saying earlier when I was when I was when I had to sit and you know be a mother um, for the first time. I wasn't used to that. Right. I was used to being a busybody, and I was forced to just sit still, which is great. Which is great. Yes, which is great, and I needed to learn how to do that as well. So that is even in my daily routines. Um, but I love working. I love acting. I love. I love what I do. So, And we love seeing you do it because you're incredible. Yeah. You're incredible. So thank you. Thank you. I'm excited thank for you. every single thing. Thank you. And to keep up with Osas, we follow you on at Official Osas. Yes, 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 um, yes. I would have said follow her on Twitter, but please don't. Um. Don't, don't get arrested. <laughs> Um, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah. Shout IG for now. IG yes. for now. Do you yes. have a website? I do. I have um, www.officialosas.com. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see everything you're in because you're fabulous. So thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We and thank God. And thank you guys for this beautiful piece of work. We appreciate you. Yes. And we celebrate you. Yes. And we will continue to Listen on to mom's to mom's worst, worst day. day. Be- oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see that I'm only going to be dealing with professionals from now on. You have shown me a sweeter side of life. Who am I now going to bring on next time? Wow, that was, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Darling. Thank you. And until next time, bye. Bye, guys.